So I got time today, and not time like that time I put in my video, it's hashtag petty time, but time to get to cleaning some sneakers. That's right, today we're going to dive into goat shoe care, and really, I really do need to clean some of my shoes. TJ back with another video talks with TJ, AKA TJ2 Swoosh Shane, who has on all three today. Not to mention, I don't know if you guys can see, but I am rocking my MJO 23 dance shirt. So shout out to you, Marvin. Always great to support you. Thank you again for the shirt. And thank you to AJ, AKA uh, Ty87Kicks. You guys have to know who he is by now at this point because that is, uh, well, it was a Santa Claus for this gift <laughs> who pretty much gifted me this. So thank you. Thank you, AJ and Goat Shoe Care, uh, for gifting me the Goat Shoe Care Vault Kit. So, uh, before we fully get started, thank you so much again for tuning into this video. If you are brand new, go ahead and subscribe. If you like what you see, I am on the road to 10K, and as soon as I hit that, I get to do a giveaway, and I'm very excited about that because one of you gets to win this whole little Nike sportswear chain, and we all know we are Team Swoosh over here. So, with this kit, let's just go ahead and break it down because you guys are going to see me actually go ahead and clean my shoes. So, that part, <coughs> I might have have to like go ahead and do you know the whole little fun editing of uh, speeding this up okay we might have to time lapse that I don't want it to be too long for you guys in terms of cleaning the shoe so let's just go ahead and talk about go itself because there are tons of different uh, sneaker cleaning companies on the market now goat shield is actually <laughs> what it's called if you look on their website they started back in 2018 and they had the mission to literally be the most premium the best shoe care cleaning company on the market in terms of product and they offer a whole array of products, so not just cleaner. There is spray, there's the actual soft bristle brush, and then a two-sided bristle brush. And then they also do have the microfiber tile, and most importantly, also wipes, because when you are on the go, you need to be able to clean your kicks. For all those that were in Chicago for All-Star Weekend, if you ever got a scuff or a mark or something on your shoes, you probably wanted to go ahead and clean that off real quick. You never know when a camera angle or a shot will be taken, <laughs> okay, of you and your shoes, so you gotta keep them pristine at all times. And I appreciate that. So the entire kit, now it comes with a lot. First off, let's just talk about the packaging here because I think the packaging says a lot. Presentation is everything. We fall in love with shoes because of the presentation. It can just be a box that makes us fall in love. The way that they are advertising, the way that they are curating the feeds that we see of these shoes and the storytelling, it says a lot. And this box says a lot. Now I can definitely appreciate this box because it does have the entire vault aesthetic. I love gold and black. It really just spices everything up to a different level of premium so I'm a fan of that um, most of you actually don't know but I have a tattoo on my back shoulder blade that actually has gears uh, intertwined into the design so I am just as just a little biased there to really like the gear so you know, when you see right here, okay? So it says Gold, the Vote Premium Sneaker Cleaner Kit. Now, when you open this up, guys, first off, look at the presentation again. Like, you can't top that. You can't beat that. So we'll just go ahead and go over what's inside the kit itself, guys. So once again, remember I said that you do have those wipes. I think those are amazing and very important. Again, you need to be able to clean your shoes on the go. Here is the microfiber towel. All right, go. You gotta 
Got a tag, I'm gonna clean yourself off a little bit there. Now this is the brush. I like that the vault kit comes with the soft bristle brush because the shoes that I'm going to clean, they are actually all fly knit. Well, most of them are fly knit material and that's more delicate than regular leather. So I like that I do have the soft bristle brush here to be able to clean my shoes. And then we do have the cleaner itself. So that is right there, the actual cleaning solution. Uh, and then the coup de gras is the actual premium protectant spray now. With this spray, we know that trying to make sure that you have a good game plan to keep your shoes clean before you ever actually step out into the elements, especially in the Midwest, because people find out we go from, you know, summer to spring to fall to winter all in one day's time. So you do need to make sure that you protect your shoes. So this is the spray. Now listen, AJ, I 100% fully trust you, okay? Because I know that you are in Chicago and you get tons of bad weather, but your kicks stay clean. So that is one reason why I'm very grateful to have this and to test it out myself. Myself. So I'm going to go ahead and take the time to clean my shoes real quick. And then as I'm giving the recap for you, we will go ahead and break down what I think about the results of the shoe kit itself. Hey guys, so I am back, finally finished cleaning all of my kicks and you guys will be able to see the process as I go through this. So the uh, actual little cleaner itself, so you don't have to squirt the solution into the bowl or the water that you have. They actually give you the full instructions that you simply need to dip your uh, soft bristle brush or even your hard one into the water and then actually put the solution on the brush itself, put it back into the water and kind of let it foam around. And then as you start to clean the shoe, you We'll see the solution foam and start to work. Now, most of the shoes that you see me cleaning here, yes, they are fly knit material, which means they are a little bit delicate. So sometimes just straight um, uh, brush strokes that are going to go across the material instead of just back and forth, like really messing it up is recommended, at least from my point of view, for someone that has a lot of fly knit cakes and you want to keep them looking pristine and nice. Some of these have not been cleaned in a minute and I was very happy to see that they did get cleaned. So I'm a fan of the product itself. So for the shoes that you saw me clean. I cleaned the um, Nike Pegasus 30, the white coral and blue. And then I also have the Nike Ultra Hirachi Run in all white and then black and gray, which I am actually uh, gifting these to a friend. So I just wanted to make sure they were super pristine clean uh, just before I gift them to her, you know, and because they are all white, like they will show any little thing. So I wanted to make sure I cleaned these up. These did a great job of getting off any little specks of dirt that were still on there present. And then you guys got to see my Lunar Glide 8. I want my dog in those quite a bit so they are definitely a little bit dirty the one part that was so ground into the midsole, I will be 100% transparent. That actually took a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to get off. I don't know what was on there, but no soft brush was gonna get it off. It took like some actual elbow grease to grind into the midsole, but I was able to get that off. As you guys see, it was gone by the end. And also I did clean my Nike Metcon 4. So that is the shoe that really grinds with me. I work out in that shoe. Now, when it comes to squatting, I actually squat more so like semi barefoot in socks just because it is better to have your foot as close to the ground as you can for that contact there and balance. But I do use this specifically a lot for, you know, deadlifts, if I'm doing leg press, lunges, Bulgarian split squats, anything of that nature. I love my Metcon 4s. Thank you again, Nike, so much for gifting me those. So I decided to clean those up. They're an amazing shoe, but they are all white. So I have to kind of be mindful of that for the fact that I do not want these things to get ridiculously dirty. So I went ahead and cleaned those up. Now the instructions, great, perfect. I love the towel. Now, I haven't got a chance to use the wipes yet, but I will probably start carrying those around with me depending on where and when I travel. That way I am literally protected. I don't have to worry about the scrapes, the scuffs, whatever. And I also don't want to go through a full cleaning process when I'm on the road somewhere. So I, once again, thank you so much, AJ, for the kit. I think it did a great job. It doesn't have an overpowering smell. Now, there are tons of other options that you can have out there, right? We know about Rejuvenator. We know about Crep. I have access to Crep and and um, the Jason Marks right at my job when I'm working part time at Kids Foot Locker, but I actually have never picked those up. And when it comes to GOAT, you can uh, choose a variety of different items. So the website is back um, up there behind me. It's just www.goatshoecare.com. And you can choose the full Volt kit. You can choose just the cleaning kit, which is just the solution and a soft bristle brush. And that will come in a smaller bag, or you can choose the individual brushes yourself, the solution. 
or even the protectant spray. And I think the spray and the solution more times than not are something you really, really, really do need to invest in because those are going to be your go to to keep your shoes clean. So I know it's always fun to be able to test out new products. Well, this is truly a practical test video that you guys got to see. I'm excited. I'm happy with the results of the shoe um, of the shoes being cleaned themselves. So once again, thank you so much again. Go shoe care. You guys are awesome. The packaging is still second to none. I mean, I love it. Like it's up on display in my apartment. You guys have actually seen it in quite a few videos. I've kind of had it like on display back here. So I'm very happy to be able to have that. It did its job. It smells good. Uh, it doesn't use harsh chemicals. And I don't really know anything else to say about that. I mean, you guys got to see the actual results. So, hey. Nothing bias here, just a uh, really good product. So once again, thank you so much, Goat Shoe Care. Thank you so much, AJ, for putting me on the friends and families list. You are a dial, appreciate it. And as always, extra age, not your shoe size. Peace out.